What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dodge. Come back to Real Takes. Well, it's that time, I guess. It's movie review time, and this will be for Fast X. Now, before I jump into it, this will be spoiler free. There's a lot of going on in this film, a lot of shakeups. And as I always say, it'll be a disservice of me to ruin it for you. You all need to see it yourself. It's a week out. I know if it's been like a second week or third week, I would probably consider it. But I just will not really do that. I feel, um, yeah, you need to see it for yourself, and I really get into it. I will say I've been a fan since the first one, which came out in 2001. I've enjoyed every last one of them. You know, there's certain things about certain parts of it, but, you know, in the end, I love it. It's a ride. It really is a ride. <laughs> You're taking, you know, with, you know, all of the cast, like, uh... Ben says with well, this character Dom this being like a family type of thing it really is with all these particular characters that we see that we keep some of the originals and then some people are brought in at first with an agenda to deal with the Toretto family but then some of them become as they say the family you know and they end up showing up later down the line now with this particular one from the trailer when I initially saw it I was actually hyped for the simple fact that you know Jason Momoa was in this one and I wanted to know how he was going to be, you know, got to get this story with the backstory. You know, how is he tied into this? And the way they did it, I really liked it. Uh, being that this centers around, you know, individuals from Fast Five. You know, of course, we get introduced to uh, Dwayne Johnson in that one. And him, you know, being an agent, you know, on a hunt. Because, of course, Dom, you know, Brian, you know, and... Um, was his sister Mia, you know, they're trying to get him out, whatever and all that, and dealing with a businessman who's really lethal named, what is it, a Herman Reyes, his character, we're dealing with a lot that was going on this, you know, of course, them getting with the money, out the vault, things like that, all these things were culminating with that. And let's just say that when we see definitely the scenes and then they kind of definitely tie it together and they tie it together very nicely in this movie and I was like okay I see it and I you know and I say I will say this and I know I'm not really talking off the cuff they go with the de in a little bit you know some of them you know take good care of themselves stay young but it's like that little de agent does help it so you would never think the wiser um with that being said uh when you're seeing you know the cast and I love how they bring back some little cast but then you get introduced some other individuals love seeing Rita Moreno in this one as the matriarch of the Toretto family that was really nice getting to see a more older version of Dom's son all of it all grown up with all the things that happened in the previous you know two films you know being introduced to his son when we're dealing with the character play Cypher played by Charlize Theron but then you're dealing with situations where some of the other crew are out getting ready to deal with a mission where they sent you know you know out to Rome and things are not what they appear to be and that's kind of what starts to shake up things and also uh, someone just happening showing up at the door giving some information that somebody's out you know for revenge <laughs> usually as always and we already know who that individual was hence the trailer being the character Dante Reyes played by Jason Momoa now with that being said let me just get into how he is in this film one thing I'm gonna say about Momoa I'm such a fan of him going back to, you know, Stargate Atlantis. I'm here because I like how, I like him when he plays the bad, the, the bad guy. I'm always here when, you know, he definitely, he can, you know, do good guy as well. But I love when he plays bad guy because he can play really good. And this one, this one's off his kicker a little bit. A little extra with it. Not here for it and all that. And, and definitely with the sarcastic, you know, statements here and there and all that, which adds a little people in the theater when I was in there. They're just like, oh, brother's crazy. Like, you know, definitely dealt with a lot. Definitely lost a little snap win or, or two when he lost his dad. When you see the way they tie in his character coming into those scenes from Fast Five, and it gets a little bit understanding knowing we were hearing one of the other characters explain, you know, him in and out of, you know, juvie, you know, dealing with, you know, mental issues and all that and everything. But daddy's always there to, you know, kind of get him out of those situations and all that. You can see that bond he had with his dad, you know, was very tight. And then his father being ripped from him the way he was from, you know, franchise for number five fast five it makes sense and then the fact that that movie was done was it was it 2011 i think i think 2011 over 10 years of the planning that went into him doing what he was doing throughout this film trying his ways to kind of you know comfort the people dom loves the most you know kind of chip away at that first and then eventually after you do that you know you want to eventually okay i got you where i want you now i'm going to go ahead and end you or i'm going to go about trying to kill you so to speak because it's only so much you know the revenge, revenge parts to you get what you really want and and, and that's kind of a lot of the um the go-to for a lot of individuals in uh, movies where it's you know the revenge type of plot storyline type type of thing i will say this again with the cast we have some of our regulars that are back, like, you know, Roman Tej, um, Ramsey, you know, Jacob, you know, Mia Letty, 
Um, just love it. And of course, like I said, Cypher, I, I will say this, love the fight sequence between <laughs> Lady and Cypher, because I knew it was just a matter of time. When you realize what she did, you know, taking, you know, someone he Dom cared about and then finding out the reveal of her having their son and then what she did and not think he's not going to, you know, yeah, it, it, it was almost like Lady had to get out of her system. Like you, you caused harm to my man. And I was here for that, whatever, you know, so with that being said, a lot of action. I always love locations where a lot of some of this, you know, takes place in Rio. You know, I'm definitely here for that. I always love the banter between Roman and Tej. And it's just like, oh my gosh, it just can you all just kind of cut it? You're grown, like, you know, it's what it is and all that. But I will say this, also seeing Decker come back, um, Queenie. I'm always here for Jason Statham and Helen Miram. Love their faces. I will say this, I love seeing some new faces. We do see Brie Larson. She's a part of the agency um, playing Tess. And then you see another individual who I'm a fan of as well. What is his name? Alan, you know, was it Rick Richson uh, playing, I want to say, um, Ames. He was really good in this one. But there's some other individuals, and like I said, I will not spoil it for you. It's, a, it's truly a disservice. <laughs> so I would just say that there, there's some faces that pop up that I was not expecting and totally caught me off guard, but I'm always here for that. I will say this, um, overall loving the, the actual story and love the way it's done. I will say that I did hear that this was going to be a two-parter. So the way it does end is not surprising to me. And it was fine. I will say there were a couple other people in the theater when I left. We were walking out. They were just d disappointed because they had no clue that that's exactly what was happening. You know, I do stay up on some of the social media. So I was like, okay, when it ended the way it did, I'm like, okay, now it makes sense. All right, you know, fine. It's all good, you know, because this whole franchise in some ways are coming to a close on this. Not still sure if I'm hearing little whispers that they might be doing some spinoffs, you know, with certain characters. It's a possibility. I would be down if they did something with Letty and all that. I know those things have kind of been thrown out there and all that. Not to say, you know, they will. You know, some people might not be here for that. That's fine. But in the end, if they do, as long as they kind of wrap up some stuff, you know, Dom and Letty have their happy ending, you know, with the sun and hopefully, you know, the rest of the cast, you know, have their moments, you know, where they're kind of going off doing their little thing. You know, how to look over their shoulders. With that being said, um, again, I'm really looking forward to seeing how, you know, everything is kind of squared again in part two. And I think that's coming out two years from now, if I'm not mistaken as well. I want to see exactly what's going to be happening, you know, what, you know, these particular characters, definitely with Dante Reyes and all that. And some other ones that are going to pop up that you'll see in part two as well. They definitely left it open. Anything could pop up. Anyone could still, you know, get hurt. You know, life could be taken. You don't know. So that's going to be something I'm definitely intrigued to see. Some individuals, I, I know a couple friends, you know, they're like, how much longer do they keep doing this? And I'm like this. You don't want to watch it. It's good. Let everybody else enjoy it. I enjoy it for what it is. Like I said, we always have certain things with the plot and, you know, storyline. Some of them like, okay. You know, when they did the space, it was like, really? But the way it was kind of done, it is what it is. You know, read into what you will. But in the end, it's always a, definitely a set family thing. We still won't get our, we still won't get our, our, our muscle cars. We won't get the, get the rides out, which they definitely make. And it was very effective in this film. I'm always here for that. Now, with that being said, after this uh, second part of Cup possibly come out, I'm curious to see if we're going to get another one to wait. Hopefully they kind of, you know, finalize some things and some conclusions are done whatever then we'll have to see but with that i'm going to be here I, I started from the beginning i'm going to continue until it's all is said and done i enjoy all these individuals in this actual franchise it makes it very fun it's enjoyable we were having a ball in there you guys it was it was it was great i was here so out of a 10 i'm gonna give this a you know a, a nine I really have nothing to say about it because I really liked it. I said the overall storyline, knowing how it tied in, the action, all the different, you know, location cinematography, you know, the characters all kind of bringing their own little part to this, you know, definitely the key factor. And I will say this with Jason Moore, he definitely was a scene still a lot in this one. And I also like the cute cuteness of Dom's son. He was cute in his little scenes with Vin and also with certain scenes with John Cena. I was here for it. So with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, see you guys in the next movie. You guys take care.